So look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's going to be some major spoilers in this video. So if you don't want to be spoiled for Avengers Infinity War, just click out of the video right now. You've been warned. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date on all new content that I release. There has been some major spoilers coming out of the Entertainment Weekly magazine and once again I'm going to issue that spoiler warning. If you guys don't want to know about any of the plot details that's going to happen in Avengers Affinity War, just click out of the video now because you've been completely warned. So Entertainment Weekly did this 15 cover special and inside the magazine they had an article on Avengers Infinity War. From there, the Russo brothers talks about why Thanos is invading Wakanda. Now, if you guys followed the channel for a while, I predicted that Thanos was going to Wakanda to get the Soul Stone. I actually believe that the Soul Stone is in Wakanda, and it may still well be in Wakanda, but that isn't the reason why Thanos is going to Wakanda. Apparently, according to the Russo brothers, Thanos is hunting down Vision to try to get the Mind Stone. So Captain America comes up with the idea of hide Vision in Wakanda because Wakanda is kind of sealed from the outside world, which is the perfect spot because Wakanda has a army. So in the trailer, when we see that, that image of all the Avengers in Wakanda facing toward Thanos, that's because they are trying to protect Vision. I predicted from the beginning that Vision was going to probably die in this movie. That Mind Stone is what gives him his life. Thanos is going to get that stone. And if you go back and you watch that Infinity War trailer, you can kind of see where this makes sense. He is going to Wakanda. He's going for that Infinity Stone. We see him trying to yank it out of Vision's head. And then we see another clip of Thanos putting an Infinity Stone in that gauntlet. Now the question is, is this going to be the end of the movie? Now a lot of people that I follow and stuff I read online predicts that this is probably the first half of the movie. So that again blows out my prediction of the final act being taking place in Wakanda. Who knows the final act might take place on a far off planet, Thanos' planet, because we see another glimpse of Iron Man in this weird suit, which looks a lot like the suit he used in the comic books for a while, which is fantastic. There was a lot of stuff inside the Entertainment Weekly magazine that really shed some light on the plot details of Infinity War, where before we really didn't know what exactly was going on. But now that you read this article and you hear this news, you can go back and watch that Infinity War trailer and get a whole different perspective of what is actually going to happen. And it gives you more weight to that trailer when you think about everybody doing that one final stand to try to protect their own, try to protect not only their friend Vision, but also try to protect that stone from getting in the hands of Thanos. And I don't know about you, I don't know about you, but this is just getting me even more hyped for this movie. We are only less than two months away from seeing this movie. And I'm telling you, man, as the day is clocked down, I am looking forward to this movie. I am so excited for this movie. This movie is going to be huge. I can't wait for it. But I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below. Hit that like, subscribe button if you are not already a subscriber. Hit that bell notification so you guys can stay up to date on all new material that I release. And until next time, guys, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.